I'm greater than Gatsby since I admittedly settled into other romances, but they just kept falling flat like wine. Do I keep replying and pining east for a replaceable god in a meeting of my life? I know I can never grow daisies. So, um... Mm -hmm. Last week I was doing a love poem on someone I didn't actually love. Oh! I kept thinking of you the entire time, and the other person was just something I happened to be crushing on. <laughs> I guess I just wanted someone to see it, and she was more likely than you to witness this level of internal conflict, a young rebel to himself. And I hope you'll come back to me, because, darling, you are my angel made of demons. <sighs> My life's passion is making poetry. I love seeing other people smile, and I love being able to smile in my poetry. It's cathartic, and it's rhythmic, and I hear the music before I start writing. I honestly wouldn't be the person I am today if it wasn't for spoken word. And I hope to continue that in college and take over LA one day. That would be so cool. I don't need to method act if I am. Macbeth, ambition. It's taught me a lot about myself. Because I'm not just performing for other people as other people. I'm performing myself. And I think that's the hardest character to perform. There's an open mic right there that I put together. Although Quinn has many prized accomplishments, his favorite has to be Poetry Club. Um, we have people from all walks of life, um, from, coming from all sorts of different clubs, and the, we're all different, but the one thing that we have in common is poetry, and it's a very accepting environment, and I highly recommend it for anybody who's looking to be themselves. Reporting for CGES TV, I'm Shayla Smalpour. When you see something cool or hear something cool, Snap your fingers, wave your wackly inflatable arms, and give Ian all the energy that you have so that the performance is better. You got this, my friend. I'm excited for you. Let's hear it for Ian, everybody. Uh, I gave this at Glasgow's last night, and I wasn't planning on giving it today, but Quinn is very convincing. Okay. <laughs> Breath, artistry, dragon, secondary, rebel, and wither. That's fire. Can you ask what your favorite words were to say? So, it's about the apocalypse and how once we're all dead, the sun will still be there. Easily my greatest accomplishment was coming up with the club and co-founding it with Amanda Fields. It's become such a beautiful community. It's loving, it's vibrant, it believes in peace, love, and positivity. And that's what I'm all about. Having people express themselves creatively for the better mint of the community. And I just love everybody so, so, so much in this, in this club. They're a family to me. And we've done everything together. Um, we've even we've even published our own anthology, which was really cool, with seven other schools, and then we did it twice on Amazon and Kindle, which is really cool. And then I got published in the same book as a Nobel Prize winner in literature, which was cool. But we go on alone. No one doesn't scream. We just have different ways of doing it. Oh. Oh. Because I realize now that I am matter, and that's what matters. Yeah. Woo! Quinn Lozar, and I prepared the role of Aaron from William Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus. I have done a thousand dreadful things as willingly as one would kill a fly, and nothing grieves me heartily indeed, but that I cannot do ten thousand more. I'm not talking to my coffee, Donald. I'm talking to my micro people. Talking to my coffee would be silly. I've learned how to be the wackiest characters, the funniest characters, and the most dramatic Shakespearean characters, which is super fun. And then I had to keep an open mind when I was playing the oddest characters, for sure. <laughs> the realm of acting is something that helps me understand myself better by putting myself in the shoes of other people and enjoying myself at the same time, which is really cool. And it's really cool when I keep an open mind and then crazy stuff like this happens where I'm like, 
in academic league doing dodgeball like who would have thought and i've also learned how to just blend in with other other groups and people just being a people person and just having the most fun with it it's it's changed my life for the better just keeping an open mind i think that's one of the most important things a person can do when trying to understand other people or trying to understand themselves and then oh here's here's when i saw neil gaiman he was a he was a really cool guy, and I just wanted to be him. So I said, okay, I'm going to do his speech, which was really cool. Make the world more interesting for your being here. Make good art. And then here's me in speech and debate. I've learned that it's not all about, you know, writing for the judges. It's writing for yourself. So when it works out like this, getting a double first place, it's really rewarding. And again, just blending in with other people, it's really fun. I love everybody, I love all the community, man of the people. It also takes a lot of prep. So you'll see me failing a lot and while I'm trying something new, but it, it's about trying. And I think that's important. And I was very glad that prom worked out this year. You just got to keep trying. And this is a profile of someone I admire, Alex Sandy. He's such a, an amazing person, human being. He does everything for the community, and that's where I get my leadership skills from. He's given back so much for me and the community. He's a selfless man, and I love that about him. He makes other people happy while still fulfilling his passion. And yeah, I've committed to UCLA, which is a dream come true. I wanted to go there since I was eight. And here's me being poetic while acting, which is really cool. You'll see trends of that, themes of utilizing all of my skills together. Is putting out social media, becoming aware that there's more to the world out there than politics and celebrities. Our fantasy reality, we all are individuals capable of making something beautiful. All you have to do is believe being beautiful is being you to the fullest. <laughs>